fiscal deficit has grown. In those circumstances, a slower debt repayment track is totally appropriate. Question number five, the Honourable Simon Bridges. Speaker, my question is to the Minister for Regional Economic Development. Has he received any reports on the benefits of market access to economic growth in the regions? The Honourable Shane Jones. Uh, yes, I've received a host of reports dealing with market access and the benefits of improved market access for economic growth in the regions. Yep. How beneficial does he believe the CPT PPA would be for regional economic development? The speaker. Well, whilst it's not directly in my province of responsibility, the reality is that an improved set of trade arrangements, which themselves are still in a state of flux, will inevitably bring upside to the provinces, especially those in the business of agricultural products. Well, well, can I ask the Minister straight, does he support the signing of the CPT uh, PPA? That's not the Minister's responsibility. There is another Minister G who given, has... Given, uh, it's... No, 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 the mem well, members, members had his question and I've ruled it out. Well, point of order. Well, you can have another question if the member well, wants it. Well, no, it's a point of order, Mr Speaker. A point of order, so Point of order. You see the primary, which is clearly about trade access and regional development. Yep. That's because uh, regional development, which this minister is responsible, and trade access are intrinsically linked. So I, I think implicit well, the, the, in my the, question the, the, is... The mem member might think the links are uh, intrinsic, but this, this minister is in charge of regional economic development. He is not in charge of trade negotiations. Uh, and... And while there might be some advantages, as, as I think members agree to the regions of, of that sort of arrangement, whether or not this minister supports it uh, is not within his responsibilities in that ministerial portfolio. Do you want to, does the member want to have another crack? One. Yes, you have. Speakers. Speaker. Uh, right, uh, but you've just got it back. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Right. Mr Speaker, in terms of regional development, does the Minister think there are any regions of New Zealand that would uh, not benefit from the kind of agreement we may well see in terms of uh, CPT PPA in New Zealand? Mr Speaker, um, without knowing what the final outcome would be, obviously those who are in the business of exporting from the regions forestry resources, beef resources, fish resources, you'd have to imagine there's considerable upside. So does he accept the upside uh, from trade agreements and disagree with the comments uh, made in this House about what a bad deal the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement is? Uh, point of order, Mr. Speaker. I have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you know, order, order, order. I, uh, I was struggling a little myself, uh, and and I, I thought it might be a fine point that I didn't understand. I, I'll give. I'll, I'll ask the member to repeat his question. Well, Mr. Speaker, uh, uh, to the minister, in light of his answers about the benefits. Uh, in the regions of trade, does he disagree with comments made in this House about what a bad deal the Trans-Pacific Partnership uh, Agreement uh, is and what it would mean for the regions? Mr well, Speaker, um, given that it's probably a historical remark unlikely to relate to what I conceived to be a new deal still in flux, but unless he puts more specific context I think there is considerable upside in the regions for an imaginative and clever trade deal. <laughs> question number six, Jenny Marcroft. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister for Children and asks, 